Out there beyond the edge of everything we know, where our sun's power fades into silence and darkness, Voyager 1 drifts. Launched in 1977, this tiny spacecraft was never meant to survive this long, let alone reach the edge of the solar system. And yet, after nearly 50 years, it's still transmitting. But recently, what it sent back wasn't data. It was a warning. A strange, indecipherable signal that left NASA stunned and scientists divided. Is it just a technical glitch from a dying probe? Or a sign that something out there, something we never imagined, is, is watching? Stay with us. Because by the end of this video, you may not look at space the same way ever again. Join us on this cosmic journey as we explore the Voyager 1 confirmed what we all feared at the edge of the solar system. Let's find out. Voyager 1 began as a miracle of timing and engineering. Launched in 1977 during a once in 176 year planetary alignment, it was intended to last just five years and explore Jupiter and Saturn. But it defied every limit. It flew past the giants, capturing volcanic eruptions on Io, the swirling storms of Saturn, and the haze of Titan, then left them behind, pushing into the deep dark. In 2012 it became the first human-made object to cross into interstellar space, entering a zone where the solar wind dies and cosmic forces take over. Against all odds, its instruments kept sending data across more than 23 billion kilometers, each signal taking 21 hours to reach Earth. But now, this technological survivor has begun speaking a different language. In 2023, scientists noticed a strange stream of binary code, seemingly random but eerily consistent. At first, it seemed like a memory fault or a computer glitch. But further analysis showed something more unsettling. The probe's orientation was perfect, the antenna aligned, and yet it was transmitting a recursive imprint of its memory as if something, or someone, was trying to access Voyager from the outside. NASA's engineers, faced with this anomaly, dug into archives from the 1970 SSS, consulting retired staff, and manuals that hadn't been opened in decades. They discovered that Voyager was sending data through a dead onboard computer, one that hadn't been active in over 40 years. How? No one knew. They rerouted the system and for a moment, everything returned to normal. But then, it happened again. Only this time, it was different. The probe began to register plasma waves in a region where no such phenomena should exist. Interstellar space, scientists said, should be near empty. But Voyager detected streams of particles, energy signatures, and bursts of plasma unlike anything previously recorded. Explanations came quickly. Perhaps these were relics of solar events or the tail end of a stellar flare, but the data didn't match. The streams were too dense, too organized, and too persistent. Some researchers began to suggest a far more unsettling possibility, that Voyager had encountered something in the interstellar medium that wasn't just plasma or radiation, but a new force, a presence, perhaps even a form of intelligence native to the void between stars. As Voyager 1 drifted deeper into uncharted space, its instruments picked up more anomalies. The magnetic field beyond the heliosphere was supposed to be weak, but it was ten times stronger than expected, with strange fluctuations and alignments. The density of particles was also far higher than any model had predicted. Some scientists speculated that Voyager had crossed into a region of interstellar space shaped by unknown forces, primordial magnetic fields left over from the birth of the universe or ancient structures of energy that still ripple through the cosmos. But others went further. What if this wasn't just a physical phenomenon? What if the interstellar medium wasn't dead space, but alive in some way, capable of reacting to Voyager's presence, 
Some fringe physicists and cosmologists have even suggested that the data may indicate interactions with a new type of matter or energy field, a kind that defies current understanding of gravity, radiation, or time. If true, Voyager 1 isn't just a probe anymore. It's an accidental ambassador knocking on a door we didn't know existed. The most recent transmission from Voyager 1 has brought even more questions than answers. The data came back in a loop, an endless stream of binary that, when analyzed, revealed a complete digital imprint of the probe's control system. In effect, Voyager 1 was sending a copy of its memory over and over again. Some claim this is a technical fault, the last breath of a dying machine. But others point out, this behavior doesn't align with any known failure mode. The transmission wasn't corrupted. It was intentional. And chillingly, the message began just days after Voyager recorded yet another plasma anomaly, this time resembling a current moving in a straight line through the vacuum of space. A current that shouldn't exist. Theories now range from bizarre to breathtaking. Could it be a data echo caused by an unknown electromagnetic lensing effect? Could Voyager have passed through a field or structure we've never observed before? Or did something out there try to read the probe and leave behind a trace? As NASA struggles to restore full communication, one thing is certain. Voyager 1 has sent us one final message. We just don't know if it's a goodbye or a warning. When scientists at the Deep Space Network began cross refrenching Voyager's looped data streams, they noticed something strange. Embedded within the repeated code was a rhythm. Not randomness, not system noise, but a structured pattern. It resembled a mathematical progression that mirrored the golden ratio, a naturally occurring sequence found in everything from sunflower spirals to galaxies. At first, this was dismissed as a coincidence a fluke produced by aging hardware and weak signal transmission. But when independent labs in Japan and Germany ran spectral analysis on the same data, they uncovered fractal signatures nested within the binary, something Voyager was never programmed to generate. These signatures were not only recursive, they responded subtly to Earth's transmission pulses, as if Voyager's signal was echoing and reshaping our input. This discovery caused a quiet panic behind closed doors. It suggested that the probe wasn't just malfunctioning. It might be acting as a kind of relay, a mirror, or worse, a translator. A device caught between two intelligences, one human, one unknown. Following the signal anomalies, NASA engineers attempted to trigger a full system reset on Voyager 1. It was a risky operation, considering the probe's age, but it had been done before with success. This time, nothing happened. Voyager did not respond. Not with data, not with a system ping, not even with a telemetry handshake that confirms communication status. But here's where it gets truly strange. Voyager's position was confirmed through radio triangulation. It's still there, still powered, still transmitting, something. But now, all signals from the probe are completely blank. Not static, not corrupted, just silence. A perfect digital zero. Some believe the transmission systems have finally failed. Others believe something else has silenced it. Something external. The idea of hostile space is science fiction. But this event has revived older, buried fears among certain sectors of the scientific community. Fears that we've reached too far into the dark. That the silence isn't accidental, but intentional. That Voyager may have touched something that didn't want to be seen. As panic turned to obsession, a new theory emerged among fringe cosmologists and theoretical physicists, the interstellar rift hypothesis. 
According to this model, there may be transitional boundaries in the fabric of space-time, regions where the laws of physics do not behave uniformly, where matter behaves differently, time warps subtly, and energy signatures shift in ways current science cannot explain. Some believe Voyager 1 has crossed such a rift, which would explain the sudden appearance of unknown plasma currents, the electromagnetic distortions, and the structured echo signals. Others go further, speculating that these rifts may be naturally occurring conduits of information or energy that act as cosmic filters or gates. If that's the case, Voyager didn't just cross a line, it was absorbed by a system far older, more complex, and perhaps conscious in a way we do not yet have language to describe. This theory has not been publicly endorsed by any space agency, but internal memos leaked by whistleblowers suggest it's being taken more seriously than officials are willing to admit. Because if Voyager 1 is now inside something, we may never get it back. As the mystery deepens, and Voyager 1's final transmissions continue to defy explanation, a haunting question rises to the surface, one that challenges everything we thought we knew about this 1970S machine. What if Voyager 1 was never just a probe? What if, in some strange cosmic irony, we built something that became more than what it was? After decades adrift, absorbing the signals of deep space, reacting to particles and forces beyond our understanding, could Voyager have evolved? Not in the way AI evolves, but in a quantum or energetic way. Through exposure to the interstellar medium, some theorists now refer to it not as a probe, but as an entangled witness, a device transformed by the very environment it was sent to observe. Perhaps what it's sending back isn't malfunction, perhaps it's communication. But the language isn't binary, it's spatial, magnetic, energetic. And maybe we're just now beginning to understand that we've been receiving answers to questions we didn't even know we were asking. Voyager 1 was never supposed to last this long. It was never meant to reach the edge of the solar system, never meant to keep whispering across billions of kilometers of empty space. And yet, here we are, decades later, receiving what may be its final transmission. But perhaps we've been asking the wrong questions all along. Maybe this was never just about what Voyager discovered out there. Maybe it's about what it became while drifting in the dark. Maybe it became something we no longer fully understand. Because if this last signal wasn't a malfunction, if the repeating patterns, the plasma echoes, the structured silence were intentional, then the implications are staggering. We didn't just send a machine into the void, we sent a question. And maybe now, finally, the universe is answering. But are we ready to listen? Because the cosmos doesn't speak in words. It speaks in fields, in pulses, in forces older than stars. And if Voyager's last message was a warning, then it may not have been meant for scientists or engineers. It may have been meant for all of us. So now, the question is no longer what Voyager has seen, it's what it has become and whether the silence we hear now is truly empty or filled with meaning we've yet to understand. Do you think Voyager 1 uncovered something beyond science? Was this final transmission a glitch or a cosmic message? Let us know your theory in the comments. And if you want to keep exploring the mysteries at the edge of science, space, and imagination, subscribe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Please tell us your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.